And uh, second school is um, um, Sibigere uh, MBR Free University College, run by Sri Taralabalu Taralabalu. It's very difficult to pronounce because in Japanese we don't even have our L, <laughs> and you have three. <laughs> so it is very difficult. So I would like to call him Sibigere Machas. <laughs> and so this was started by uh, his predecessor, uh, Sri uh, Shiva Kumara Shivacharya. And um, he was, uh, again, um, extra extraordinary man. And um, just I can't believe how he become, became like that in the 1940s and 50s. That's just amazing. What influenced him? Just, just to me, it's just strange. And he was easily like 50 years ahead of that time. And so they contributed uh, enormously towards this rural education, which I think uh, Swamiji himself is going to explain to us, and especially girls' education since the uh, late 1940s. And um, I was attending um, his kind of uh, Swamiji's court, and I was so impressed, and I, I was talking to the villagers um, sitting there, and I was talking to an old man, and I said, wow, don't you think it's very great? And he said, well, yeah, it is. But you know, you should realize the real importance of this matcha is girls' education. Just imagine in the 1950s, who was thinking of educating girls? Nobody. So he started, and, and the, his idea of girls' education is quite different from kind of Hindu nationalist idea of educating girls. So, okay, most important thing is educating boys. Educating girls is a good thing, but kind of secondary. And also, if you educate girls, that's more in order to make her a good wife or a good mother. There is a kind of conservative line. But his idea is um, almost he's saying that uh, educating a boy is a uh, waste, pretty much. <laughs> he said, uh, this is a, uh, several people told me how he said it. If you educate a boy, you will educate it you will educate only one person. But if you educate a girl, you will educate a whole family. So that's more useful. And also, uh, he says, an educated woman is like an institution. She spreads knowledge and awareness. So this is quite revolutionary and uh, quite feminist too, I think. So this is um, a piece I mainly interviewed. Uh, these are uh, first year PUC uh, students, so like uh, 16, 17 years old. And normally they're wearing uniform, just this day happened to be a kind of normal uniform day, and these are girls. Um, so, okay, so, um, so I want to today, I'm, Probably uh, mainly talk about um, um, uh, what um, okay um, I'm a bit confused. Sorry. Um, talk about what kind of religious education. But I'm not sure it is called should be called religious more kind of moral education um, they were doing, um, and um, and also especially girls education. And uh, most of female students are from a very conservative rural lower middle class background. And um, so that's why they, this is the interesting kind of a situation that, uh, of course, Sirigere Macha encouraged rural education. You know, it is hugely helpful for rural people who couldn't go to schools before. But now, being in a rural area has acquired a certain kind of market value in a way. Because these are conservative families, they prefer to send their daughters to see a school, because it will be safer. It is safe place. It will be looked after. There's no, no cinema hall, no coffee house, no restaurant. It is nothing. So people think that they don't, they, they, now they can afford to send these, some, some of them can afford to send these kids to urban area, but they don't want to. So they, they send his family, uh, daughter to this um, school. So. Of course, there's an evolutional aspect of this uh, education, but at the same time, this is this has to be operated within a kind of conservative um, world. So I, I don't know. Probably I should come back to that. 
And uh, although they are from very conservative middle-class middle background, they are very keen on pursuing professional careers, such as becoming engineers or lawyers, that would enable them to be economically independent. Interestingly, many students said to me that a woman should, be independent, uh, should not be uh, dependent on her husband. Um, and this means economically. So they, they, they think they should be economically independent from their husband. Yet they are also aware that some parents might marry them off immediately after they finish studying at the pre-university college when they reach the legal manageable age of 18. So there is a constant kind of tension I could feel. You know, they, they have a huge ambition and of course some of them will achieve that but, but at the same time they know not all of them will. And it's a financial reason and uh, again parents' ideas and so 